Hey guys, welcome to Parrot Playhouse. My name is April. This is the lovely Victoria Cockatoo preening herself. And today's video is 10 things birds hate about humans. 10 things that we do to them incorrectly and they do not like it. Birds do not hate, but they do get scared. They do get hormonal. And let's remember, they are prey. So predators are always swooping down so you can scare a bird and they can bite you. And in fact, while filming this video, I had to do a few things, you know, to catch it on film so I could show you guys and the puff man did not approve. Don't worry, he's fine. But um, that's pretty much what happened. So follow along, prevent those angry birds from happening and learn from the mistakes in these videos so you'll have happier birds and less screaming and less biting. That just, that hurts. Look at that, ooh. Number one, isolating them. Parrots do not like it when you do not spend plenty of time with them. Right, Puffy? Puffy's helping me with the voiceover. I have many birds here and so they do chatter amongst each other but not all of my birds get along. Actually, many of them do not get along, so I do have to supervise them. So I will take each bird at a time and spend private time with them, whether it's watching TV, hanging out in the shower, brushing my teeth. I always make time for my birds. If you got a bird or birds that are screaming in the day when you leave, they're bored, they need something to do, they're insecure, I would recommend Parrot Town TV for Birds it is a wonderful bird sitter for your parrots. Even though Victoria is losing her sight, she loves to watch them with the little eye that she can see partly out of. And she loves hearing the sound of the birds and the relaxing music. She eats her breakfast every morning watching Parrot TV and she loves it. Two, forcing a scary step up. Okay, puppy, don't look. This is how you do not go and grab a parrot. You want it to be their choice to come to you and to step up. You ask them nicely, you just don't grab them. Look. Oh, you're, you're fighting me. Good for you, you're fighting back. Oh, now that's nice. That was a good step up. Do you want to step up? Do you want to step up? Good boy. That's a good boy. Thomas is here, you wanna say hi? Birds hate wobbly branches, wobbly arms. They think it's not gonna hold them, support them. This is usually when you get bit, is when a bird loses their trust. Look at that. I let Thomas take his time. Thomas is handicapped. Thomas falls easy. I can't let him fall, right Thomas? Yeah, you could get hurt. Can anybody spot Victoria Cockatoo? Do you see where Victoria Cockatoo is? Three, filthy cage. Birds hate disgusting, filthy cages that are rusty, covered in feces with no toys. The owners of this bird don't think this is an issue here. They think everything's fine, that this bird is happy. But I think it's an issue. And don't worry, you guys, I'm working on this. I'm working on trying to help this bird right now. Do you think this is wrong, what's going on here? Let me know in the comments below. This is what a cage should look like. Plenty of room for your birds to play, toys, clean. Just look at that, so much better. It's important to do a deep clean every week, wipe it down once a day. I have a video on how to clean your birds' cages safely. Link will be at the end of this video. Four, dirty water and food bowls. Birds hate slimy bacteria filled water. It should be changed twice, three times a day. And they also must have fresh pellets changed twice a day. No poop on top. You want it to be fresh. You want to keep the containers, the plastic bags that you have the food in it sealed shut. You don't want any creepy crawlies, bacteria crawling in there. And you also want to make sure that their water looks like this. Their water bowls look like that. You see, there's no green in them. Look how clean that is. And they're fresh fruits and vegetables. You want them to stay fresh. You don't want them sitting out all day, two to three hours, four hours. Just don't let it go bad. Five, confuse touching. Birds hate it when you confuse them and you molest them by touching them on the back, on the belly, under the wings, 
on their bottom. I know I've seen people do it. It's disgusting pulling their tail. And also, especially during nesting season, if you play with their beak, that is all signs that you are giving to your bird that you want to mate with them, that you want to make babies with them, right? So that confuses them. You do not want to touch them in those areas. It can create all kinds of issues. Biting, they become territorial, screaming, all kinds of things. You don't want to go there. And you can also kill your bird. Your bird can become a chronic egg layer and die. Okay, so this is how you want to pet your bird. Do you see how I'm just petting Victoria's head? She loves that. I have to be so careful with Victoria, especially because she's a cockatoo. I don't want her to go into that hormonal nesting drive. I got to be so careful because literally, if she starts producing egg yolk, it could kill her, you guys. So I, I, I know people might get upset, but you just just stop molesting your parents right because that's what it is just keep your hands on the head look at that she loves that and the other video right there i was not actually touching victoria in those naughty places i was just trying to show you what you do not want to do look look at this she loves it six high pressure showers Birds hate high pressure showers. You're not trying to put out a fire, you guys. You can hurt them if the water droplets are coming down too hard. You want a nice mist like this. These are delicate rainforest flowers. Think about watering a garden full of flowers. You don't want to damage those petals. You do not want to hurt their eyes. You don't want to hurt them. <laughs> You want their shower time to be something positive. You never want to use water as a punishment. And let it be their choice to take a shower because birds can fear water, you guys. You got to take everything slow. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Good boy. Seven, no toys. Birds hate it when they're locked in their cage with no toys, nothing to do, or toys that have been sitting there for a long time that are rusty and gross. Birds want to work. Birds want to look for their food, and they love toys that allow them to do that. Forage birds also love to chew up things, plenty of things to chew, plenty of things to keep them distracted so the day goes by. While you're at work, like a toy? it's important to keep huh? those beaks busy and happy yeah. and keep those minds thinking. Eight meeting predators. Ah! Birds hate predators, you guys. They are terrified of predators and when we take our predator pets and we let them play with our birds or stare at our birds while they're in their cage or loose, it makes our birds feel vulnerable. They don't show us because it's their instinct to act tough. If you show any weakness in the wild, you are dead. So let me tell you, those of you that think your bird loves your dog or cat, I guarantee it probably 70% of the time, your bird is scared. They don't want to be some pet's lunch. Look, you see those nails? One scratch, your bird will die if not treated with antibiotics. Help your birds feel safe and secure by when you take them outside that you have them on a harness or safely in a carrier just like this or in an aviary that will protect your birds from predators. <laughs> There is a hawk almost directly over us. Look at that crow. Oh my gosh, he's diving. He's diving, oh, he's right in that tree. This is crazy, you guys. This is why I have netting. You see, because even though we have aviaries, where? Oh my gosh, they're like, they're surrounding us right now. It's okay, guys, it's okay. But they can come down at any time and get your birds through the bars. And so that's why I've got netting. But he's over there basically waiting. He's waiting. He's watching. And 
Victoria Cockatoo is really concerned. It's okay, guys. It's okay. It's okay. It wasn't okay. I thought with the trees in there, they would feel secure, but now I've decided to cover half of each of the aviary. When I filmed this, it was actually kind of cold, so I wanted them to have some sunshine, but they still felt insecure. So now that part of the aviaries are covered, they feel cozy and safe. Nine being surprised. Hi, Sammy. How are you? Did I scare you? I'm sorry you didn't see me coming. Oh, you didn't see me coming. Okay, let's try it a different way. Knock, knock. Hi, Sammy. How are you? Do you want to treat? Yeah? You didn't get scared, huh? Because you saw me coming. You saw me coming. You could hear me. Knock. And then you saw me coming. Yeah. You said you're a good boy. You said you're a good boy. When a parrot is surprised in the wild, it usually becomes someone's lunch because they are prey animals. There are many predators out there to get them. So the best way to make your bird feel secure is to have them against a solid wall where they can see everybody come into the room. You can even cover the cage partly. Having toys and different things that they can hide behind and sleep is also something that will give your bird comfort and something to do. I also like to knock on the wall, make a little noise to let them know that I am entering the room. 10. Lack Routine Birds hate not having a routine or getting enough sleep. I put my birds to sleep around the same time every night. I wake them up around the same time every morning. They get a total of 12 hours of sleep every night and that is uninterrupted sleep. And most of the birds like their cages covered with a sheet. Hi. Hi baby. They love looking forward to their breakfast in the morning, their dry pellets during the day, outside time, and then their dinner at night. And sometimes they'll take a nap in the middle of the day. Having a routine for your parrots keeps them happy and healthy, and you will see birds that get 12 hours of sleep develop less behavioral issues, less hormonal issues, they bite less. They're just happier, more secure parrots. Even birds that get plenty of sleep, they still love to tear up a paper towel roll. <laughs> I hope you found this video helpful. Don't do all those terrible things that I did to my birds. It was just to show you of what not to do, right? Yeah, and I got bit. I got bit. And he's probably going to bite me again. But thank you for watching Parrot Playhouse. Don't forget to check out our new channel, Save a Parrot. Ow! He's done. He's done. He's done. Oh! Okay, so he's, what a great way to end this video. Yeah, so he hates me right now. No, he doesn't hate me. He's just like going, why are you so terrible? Such a terrible parent today. All right, guys, we love you. We'll see you later. Bye.